नमस्कार हूँ आदर्श छू वेलकम टू आदर्श एजुकेशन सोसायटी Hello students. Today we will study the question number eight of exercise seven point one. This is the topic of standard nine, chapter number seven, triangles. So what is the question? The question is in right angle triangle ABC. So first of all, we have given is that this triangle ABC is a right angle triangle and right angled at C. So this is the ninety degree of the angle. So we can write down this thing in the given section. That angle ACB ACB is equal to 90 degree. Okay, M is the midpoint of hypotenuse AB. This point M is the midpoint of hypotenuse. That means these two portions are equal. That we can write down also in the given section that BM is equal to AM. Okay. Now C is joined to M. When we join this C and M, and produce to point D by joining C to M, and again produce to it up to point D, such that D M is equal to C M. C. This portion is also become equal to this portion. So here also we have given that D M and C M are equal to one another. So. <coughs> We have to show that uh, first thing we have to prove here is that triangle AMC, triangle AMC is congruent is congruent to triangle BMD, BMD. This is the first thing that we have to prove here, right? So. Where is the triangle AMC? AMC is this triangle, this portion, and BMD. BMD is this portion, this triangle. So see, two conditions already we have given is that BM. This, if we uh, talk about this triangle, we can write down that AM side is equal to BM side. In the same way, we have given that CM is equal to BM. So. These two conditions we have already given. Now think about the third condition. Yes, it is very easy that these two triangles, uh, these two angles are vertically opposite angles because the two lines are intersecting here. So this angle we can write down that as angle AMC, angle AMC, and that will become equal to angle AMC. That will become equal to B. M D. The reason is vertically opposite angles. So three conditions are there. Now we can write down that yes, the triangle A M C is congruent to triangle B M D. By which rule? C two sides and included angles. That means side angle side rule. By side angle side rule, we can write down that this these two triangles are congruent. Now. Second thing we have to write down here is that we have to prove the second thing is that angle B D B C is right angle triangle. Angle D B C is a right angle. Is a right angle. Now see how we can prove that the D B C is a right angle. DBC means this angle. Yes, one of the angle we have given is that this ACB is right angle. So you are thinking that yes, AC is parallel to BD. If we take CD as a transversal, then the addition of these two angles will become 180 degree. This is 90 degree. So yes, obviously this angle will also be 90 degree. Yes, you are thinking the same. But here we have not given that AC and BD are parallel. We can apply this thing only when we have given that CA and BD are parallel. But this thing we do not have given. So what we can do? We can prove that that AC and DB are parallel. If we can prove this, we can write down that the addition of these two angles will become 180 degree. So how we can prove this? See, here we have proved that AMC and BMD two angles 
two triangles congruent then their corresponding parts will become also equal yes so now consider this angle and this angle so the angle acm acm of this triangle angle acm will become equal to bbm angle bbm by cpct right by cpct we can write down this thing so this thing this angle we have to now consider here here we have angle acm is equals to angle bdm this condition we are taking from one so this we have already proved in one so see here two lines are there db and ac are the two lines db and ac are two lines and bc is transversal bc bc is transversal and this two angles are making a pair of alternate interior angles and they are equal so according to the by theorem number 6.3 what we can say by theorem 6.3 if there is a two lines one transversal is intersecting and if the pair of alternate interior angle will become equal then by theorem 6.3 we can say that the db and ac are parallel db will become parallel to ac right so what we required here is we required to prove that db and ac are parallel that we have proved here now we can write down that angle acb a c b plus angle d b c d b c the total will become equal to 180 degree what is the reason reason is for interior angles right the addition of the two interior angle will become 180 degree now out of that a c b we already have that is 90 degree put down here 90 plus angle dbc is equals to 180 degree so when we take 90 to the right hand side we can write down angle dbc is equals to 90 degree and what is the meaning of this that is angle dbc is what dbc is a right angle so in this way we can prove this thing now see the third thing that we have to prove here is triangle dbc triangle D B C is congruent to triangle A C B. A C B. Right? Now this two triangle. Consider this two triangle. D B C is D B C. This triangle D B and C. And A C B means A C B. This triangle. See, B C side is common. Right? So we can write down that B C is equals to C B. This is common in both the triangles now one more thing that is angle dbc we have currently proved that right that angle dbc is equals to angle a c b both are of 90 degree right this angle we have currently proved this acb we already have given so two conditions currently we have think about the third condition see in both this triangle ac side and db sides are there but ac and bd are not given equal see here again we have proved here that amc and bmd are equal so we can take the ac side and bd side by cpct we can prove that yes so ac side will become equal to bd side this we can write down according to cp cd corresponding parts of congruent triangle so this thing we are using here we can write down that uh, bd bd is equal to ca or ac ca this we have already 
proved in one. Right? This condition we are taking directly from the here. So three uh, three conditions we got here. So we can write down that triangle DBC is congruent to triangle ACB. By which criteria? Think about. This is the side, this is the side and this is the angle. So by side, angle, side. Okay. Now let us see the fourth condition that we have to prove is CM is equals to 1 half of AB. Right. As we have proved here that the two triangles are congruent, we can write down this that uh, DC side is equal to a B side, right? D C side is equal to A B side by C P C D. This condition we have to use use here that B C is equal to A B. This we have already proved in third, right? This condition we are using here. Now see D C. <coughs> we have given that D M and C M are equal. So instead of DC, we can write down DM plus CM. Instead of DC, we can write down DM plus CM. And right hand side, keep at as it is. Now as DM and CM are equal, instead of this DM, we can write down the CM. So CM plus CM will become equal to AB. CM is two times, we can write down two CM is equal to AB. When we take this two to the right hand side, we get the CM is equal to 1 half of A. And this is the fourth required condition. See? So in this way, this is a lengthy sum, but it is in the, at the same time very important sum. Okay? So think about this sum, how we can solve this type of sums. Okay? So this is all about this lecture. Thank you. Thank you for joining us.